What's up, guys, and welcome back to another episode of Subnautica. This is episode 20 now on the series. What we did last episode was kind of a fail, but also kind of a success, because we did find a new facility that created infinite ion cubes, which is awesome. So now we can actually make a ton of ion-powered power cells or uh, batteries, stuff like that. So I think what we're going to be doing today is going back to where Sunbeam exploded again. We have a blue tablet in our inventory that I already made. It's super cheap. It's just two kyanite and an ion cube. But we're going to need that to unlock the only door that I saw anyways. There's probably more. I think there might be a blue tablet portal. No, 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 no. It was just an ion cube. It was just an ion cube. So let's bring... No, we don't need to bring any. We have tons because we're going to bring the prawn suit yet again. It didn't necessarily fail us last time. We kind of failed it because we couldn't find our direction. But I think we should be making a compass. I feel like that's going to help us out. This is something we should have made a long time ago, and it's super cheap. It's literally two silver and two copper wire. A compass. Easy as that. Seriously, we should have done this a long time ago. It's kind of dumb that we hadn't done that before. So now up at the top, you guys will notice we have a compass spinning around up there, which is going to come in handy, I think. So let's make sure our vital signs are good. I know our energy in the Cyclops from the previous episode is down to like 85% or something like that. It's not very low. And then let's grab really quick while I'm thinking about it some more water. We haven't cleared it out from the last time. Sounds like one's being made right now. Perfect. All right. So we got two more waters and two more salt. So let's bring, let's bring this much water. I feel like that should be plenty for us. We're not going to be over there for very long, but I'm going to keep some in my inventory this time so we don't die again. All right, we'll run over here to the Cyclops or the Cyclops and we'll head out. Let's see what our energy's at. Oh yeah, dude, 83%. We're looking good. All right, we'll back on out of here and we're going to set our sights yet again on the island where Sunbeam exploded. Now we did have some luck docking the the cyclops in that massive moon pool that's underneath the laser beam so i think we're just going to do that again take out the prawn suit head on in there but uh instead of going through the primary containment facility with the prawn suit i feel like we're gonna leave it outside maybe and then go through it on our own because every time we'd exit the prawn suit we'd actually go down to about ant height level and there's no way to fix that or adjust that you basically just have to go out swim into the water and then come back in so that's what we're going to do this time why that happens i have no idea but that's just that's just a little bug in the game it's fine what did you guys see that a sand shark or a skull shark skeleton shark i don't remember what those things are called straight just jumped out of the water that was awesome okay we are officially back at the island it's starting to load in now. We need to go around the backside yet again and go through the doorway into the moon pool and we'll be all set. There we go. Easy as that. Perfect. All right. We'll turn off the engine here. Looking good. Wait, what? Uh, that doesn't look good. Was it like this last time? Maybe we won't breach. We're literally full of water right now. I, I think that's just the top side of the moon pool glitching through we'll leave it down here that that kind of scared me i thought we were sinking let's see do we need anything else let's try to get our stats looking right before we head out one more replant our bulbo tree that should be grown by the time we get back i would think we should probably bring i'd say one peeper since it gives us 32 food our food doesn't typically go down near as fast as our water does ah what the heck we'll bring a second one we might as well gotta get enough momentum to fly out of the water nice okay that was way better so let's make our way over to that portal we'll go through it and then we'll be in the thermal plant we're gonna have to make note of uh, of what direction we're facing and everything like that gonna try not to head back to the cyclops that was the mistake we made last time and that's how we got lost i totally forgot we got here through a portal so we're gonna have to remember to come back east to go to the portal depending on which way we leave out of here i guess over here no over here yes all right let's make our way out of here all right just have to jet up through here and we have successfully made our way out of the thermal plant now we just have to head down into that pit so we have to go straight south 
once we get out of the pit after we come back up and we'll be able to find our way back to the Cyclops through the portal and we'll drop back down into this pit and I think we went this way yeah. oh okay okay warper got us nope nope we have to find the prawn suit he's trying to shoot orbs at us where did he send the prawn suit off to okay it's right there it's right there we're good we're good it's in the lava just barely having it be yellow having the prawn suit a yellow color around all this glowing hot magma and lava is kind of a problem it does not make it easy all right he already sees us i was told we might be able to grapple onto these guys can we just grapple onto you and ride you around dude this is awesome uh-oh not awesome nope not awesome anymore very much not awesome okay he hurt us quite a bit let's get back to safety yikes dude that was cool at first so he can straight eat us if he eats us again dude we're done we're toast all right we're safe now boys we made it in he's still following us which is spooky yeah i don't think he can hurt us now that we're in here we should be okay what a terrifying creature okay let's hop out and then we're gonna have to get out our repair tool so we can fix this thing up that was awful dude that was absolutely it was super cool at first we were literally like rodeo riding this dude and then all of a sudden he's like nope i'm gonna eat you and uh we about got got that would have been bad bad start to the episode okay prawn suit is fully repaired again so what i wanted to do was try to leave the prawn suit here so if we hop out into the water we'll be swimming and then we can go back in here and now we're standing again perfect okay so we got that figured out we'll just leave the prawn suit let's run into this room we're gonna work our way around here clockwise so here we go we have a portal we don't have any ion cubes on us currently so we will have to open up the portal after we bring the prawn suit back in so we'll hit the next room over here i feel like these are all gonna have the same thing in them maybe maybe not this one looks different already whoa dude this looks like a freaking water park dang dude these aliens knew how to get down this is sweet so this must be what they used water filtration units that we saw out and about this must be what they used those for can we scan this? Inflow pipe. Peepers entering the containment facility. Are peepers the only thing that go through that then? That's awesome, dude. I'm jealous. I wish we had that in our base. We got a, a data terminal right here, though. Ventilation control. An outflow pipe. Enzyme host peepers leaving the containment facility. Okay. This is really interesting, dude. I didn't think we were going to find something like this in here. Oh, okay. So they're saying that some of these peepers have the enzyme 42 in them so it seems like maybe the aliens were trying to they realized that some of the peepers have sort of a an orange glow behind them like an orange trail behind them but they were basically trying to take the water that the peepers were swimming through and try to figure out how they could use that enzyme 42 and i guess use it for their own personal gain i don't know dude this is very interesting though up here we probably have another portal room or something like that yep got another portal in there we're gonna save this room for last because we have to put in our blue tablet inside of there so this will be ion cube number three into that portal room i wonder where all these portals go though now in this room we have something totally different this is awesome dude we have a bunch of different eggs down here i don't think we're gonna be able to scan any of them data terminal see emperor leviathan research data or data whatever she says it differently someone told me that there's an egg that we should be looking out for i don't see one in here that we can take so i don't think this is the place that we're looking for but apparently we're going to be able to hatch a friend later on down the road i'm really looking forward to that it's starting to get a little lonely here on the planet knowing that we're the only uh humanoid life form left all right this is our last room here and it looks like another portal room so let's put in our blue tablet and we'll see where this one leads all right force field down let's head on inside dang dude what is this a big conference room i mean it looks cool don't get me wrong uh the water scares me 
I don't, I don't want to drop down into the water. I feel like there's going to be something terrible down there. Something we're not ready for. Oh, God, dude. Do we do it? I'm really nervous. I'm really, really nervous. I guess, what do we have to lose? We could save right now and exit the game and we'd be fine. Let's do it. We're going down. Got a, a platform here. Uh... Okay. Oh! Oh my god, dude! Are you here to play? No. Others came here once. They built these walls. They played alone. They bored me. Okay. Now they're gone. And instead, we have you. We are curious whether you swim with the current or fight against it as they did. Who's we? Are there more of you? Are you good? Okay, that's totally the thing from the visions though. What are we supposed to do? Holy crap, dude, there is a literal brick in my chair right now. I actually shit a brick. So, can we talk to you again? Are you gonna eat us? We got alien looking stuff down here. Are any of these dudes gonna eat us? Unlike other alien facilities, Scans indicate this location supports a diverse and healthy ecosystem. Explanation unclear at this time. Okay. None of these guys are gonna eat us. They're all friendly. God, this is amazing, dude. I'm trying to build my base in here. This is sweet. We could just live with, uh, with whatever that is. Oh, should we scan her? Are you gonna slow down anytime soon? Whatever she is, she's extremely fast. Oh, here we go. We got a peeper with the enzyme. He's got his little trail. There we go, enzyme host peeper. All right, I need to try to catch up to her so I can scan her, see what she's called. I think this is- Environment scans indicate the water here is rich with a rare plankton-like life form, which depends on the organic detritus produced by the ecosystem around it. Okay, we only have 30 seconds left. I can't get close enough to her to scan her. I think she's what they call the sea emperor. Would it be empress then if she's a woman? Let's take a look around here. It looks like there's a little platform down here. I just want to figure out what, what I need to do. Got a portal right here. What are these? Sea emperor eggs. Oh, okay. So she has she has os offspring. Off offspring. I, I can't talk today. Okay, so we just have to put an ion cube in here and we can help her out. This is an incubator hatching enzymes. Whoa, are you mad? No, 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 come back. I want to scan you. Maybe we can't scan her. Okay, let's get, let's get back down here since she got kind of close to us. If I, if I stand right here and pretend like I'm going to insert an ion cube, this must do something. Otherwise, I don't think she'd have this animation where she gets all close like this. She's like a kraken, dude. Like a squid and a crab put together. It's like she's waiting for us to put this ion cube in. So it must do something with her eggs. We'll get an ion cube and we'll see if we can't help her out. We'll open up those portals. I'm not going to go through any of the portals just yet. And then we'll come back down and see if we can't help her out with her eggs. Or whatever that incubator is supposed to do. This is so cool, dude. Hi, shrimp old buddy old pal. Let's roll, dude. We got some ion cubes to gather up. Hopefully we get at least five from this deposit. I guess if we don't, it's just gonna create more, so it's it's not a huge deal. We'll let it generate some more. Insert ion cube. Uh, what? Can we not do that? Oh, ha! We forgot to get the ion cubes out of the prawn suit. Get our three ion cubes, there we go. Not gonna make that mistake again. Okay, let's try this again. See if we can't put an ion cube in here now. First one going in. And again, I'm not going to see where any of, the, any of these go. I kind of want that to be a surprise for a future episode. Maybe the next one. I don't know for sure. Put another one in here. There we go. Portal number two complete. Okay, so let's hop in the prawn suit again. Looks like the ion cubes are done fabricating. We'll try to get some more here. Okay, let's dig in. We're gonna need at least two. We got three last time, I bet it'll just give us three more. There's one. 
to... And three. Perfect. All right, let's head back down. <clears throat> okay, we'll hop out of the prawn suit. It'll look like a mouse or a cockroach. And we're back on our feet again. Awesome. So we, we've at least found a way around the bug at this point, which is great. Let's get our three ion cubes out of there, and let's get after it. There we go. That is the last portal. We're going to see if we can't help her out with her babies. I feel bad, man. She's just been sitting here all this time trying to hatch her babies. God, she is huge, dude. I'm glad she's at least not hostile. Like, she's not trying to kill us. There we go. She has landed. She is ready. She knows we got an ion cube strapped. All right, let's do this, guys. Insert our ion cube in here for her. And let's see what happens. Okay, something's going on. My young need to hatch, to play outside this place. We have been here so long. I can tell. The others built a passage to reach the world outside. Whoa, 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 whoa. I asked them for this freedom, but they could not do If you help us, I will give you freely what the others tried in vain to take. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, so she said that the aliens that were containing her here, basically, they just wanted her for the Enzyme 42. They didn't want to see her survive. They were just being kind of kind of cruel about it. This is kind of a small containment for such a big, magnificent creature, too. I mean, insert hatching enzymes. We have to get an enzyme from through this portal, maybe? Or through the other portals? I don't know. She was kind of vague there. Didn't really explain it that well. Let's go put our last ion cube into here, and we'll open up this portal. We're starting to run out of oxygen, though, so I think we're just gonna have to go through, see what's on the other side here. With the passage Whoa. open, my young can leave this place. But first they must feel the time is right and break free of their shells. Okay. This is what the others could not force from. To you, I give the secret willingly. Okay. Hatching enzymes. New blueprint synthesized. So she said that the aliens... We're gonna have to jet on up here. 30 seconds left. She said that the aliens basically tried to figure out how to hatch her eggs so they could get the enzymes. But she just straight up gave us the ingredient list that we need to get the eggs to hatch. There it is, hatching enzyme, holy crap. So we need ghost weed seed, bulb bush sample, fungal sample, sea crown seed, and an eye stalk seed for a single hatching enzyme. How many do we have to put inside of that thing then, I wonder? So through this portal brings us, hang on a second, dude, we can get out of here way faster now with that portal open. Let's go up, grab the prawn suit, we'll head back down. That's gonna put us right outside of where the cyclops is some 2,000 meters away. The aliens couldn't even open the portal last time, dude. That's pathetic. We got her to do that for us like no problem. All we had to do was put an ion cube in the incubator. So if you guys don't know where we are, that's the moon pool bay right there. Now we'll let the prawn suit charge back up. It's only at 82%. It's not doing too bad. And look at that. Bulbo tree. Fully grown now. And that's that. We could stay here. All we have to do is grab a couple of samples, but we'd need a fabricator to actually make the enzyme. So I think I'm going to end the episode here. And then when we come back, I might be here or I might be at the base. I'm not sure yet. If you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, leave a comment, help support the dream by smashing that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Peace.